We're probably the most obvious job that nobody knows about that helps the planes fly. The main thing we do here at ROS, uh, radar, airfield, and weather systems, we maintain a lot of the equipment on base that allows essentially the tower to communicate with planes, and also uh, we work on a lot of the equipment that allows planes to land uh, efficiently. So most of the stuff that we work on is out uh, on the airfield or in here right behind me, the, uh, the radios. If we weren't here to do the things that we do, uh, the tower, I guess, technically would be able to talk to planes, but it would be uh, a lot more difficult. Uh, they wouldn't be able to talk to uh, planes to help them to land. The planes wouldn't be able to use the uh, instrument landing systems that help them land. And uh, weather would, would have to pull feeds from other places to get weather information. Uh, the main importance of our work is communication. Help pilots get in the air and get back to the ground. My name is Airman First Class Kyle Foltz, and I work for the 6th OSS. We maintain everything that the airfield uses to control, talk to, and operate aircraft, basically. We work on our radios, our DASR, our PDR, everything on the airfield we basically take care of and make sure it's operating for the tr controllers and the pilots to be able to navigate around our airspace. You probably won't see us a lot and most, most people really don't know what we do, but uh, we kind of keep the gears of the tower and the RAPCON running for them to be able to talk and you know, control airspace, basically keep the mission going. We walk the general and the chief through our one of our radio PMIs. It's a 336 day, so we basically check the modulation power output of the transmitter and uh, run our receiver through uh, multiple checks to verify the operation uh, is actually you know, the proper one. We do the Faraday cages where we do our preventive maintenance. So our test equipment is set up there to test the radios and everything else that we run through there. Uh, it's an enclosed cage so it doesn't let the uh, radio frequencies out. It protects us and it protects the equipment as well. I basically ran them through the test equipment that we use. We have an oscope, a signal generator, and an audio analyzer. Uh, we use all three of them to basically test the transmitter for modulation, the power output, and the frequency. The same for the receiver. The transmitter test assembly uh, is basically a box that you use to key the radio and then to input the audio into the system. So the oscope will basically display an image of the modulation that you do for the transmitter. Once you're mixing your audio and your signal together in a small mixer, that will display the screen for you where you check the modulation. The audio analyzer is basically just inputting noise, so it's kind of imitating a person speaking into the radio. And the signal generator is what's actually sending RF through the actual radio for them to mix and you to get audio and an image through. Uh, TMQ is our tactical weather station. It does the same capabilities as an FMQ-19 does, except it's in a deployable state. So you can pack it up in cases and take it out. It'll give you wind speed, uh, rain, salometer, everything included. In CM-300s, those are our radios, so basically tune to the frequencies that the controllers and the aircraft needs to communicate. We have, I think, 13 of them, 14 of them in here. And we also have three or four of them at the tower and the RAPCON as well. So the radios have a inspection once a year and they're all set up to, we'll always do probably a radio or two a week uh, until we rotate through all the radios that we have on station. It's very exciting for me, not for the fact that it's an opportunity for me, but for the career club itself. I feel like we do get overlooked a lot and I really, really like what I do.